What is up my friends? Kevin here coming to you with another Retro Rebel toy review. This is a retro review. I'm trying to do all the vintage lines. Uh, I would like to be able to do them by request and that's what we have today. We have a request. Let's get some coffee. Oh, that's good. That's good. You get older, you need little help. <clears throat> so today we're going to be reviewing this big guy. This is the 1993 Kenner Jurassic Park Red Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, an amazing figure. My buddy, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my buddy David Blucher from David Blucher's Toys and Collectibles uh, YouTube channel. Make sure to check him out. Give him a like and a sub. Amazing reviews, especially over vintage lines such as this and the other stuff. But uh, he requested that this big bad boy get uh, get reviewed on this channel. So that's what we're going to do today. Look how amazing he is. Color still great on him. The touch is insane. Like, I mean, just soft. The soft rubber. You don't see that with toys anymore. He's incredible. He does have the electronic... <clears throat> the electronic stomp and roar uh, gimmick, which is an awesome action I would like to say for him this one has no tears colors on point you can see his little stamp at the bottom of the leg there JP 93 also uh, down here you can see where his electronic mechanism is uh, screwed in and hidden away this one actually does work and he looks amazing soft head so you can it's pliable enough to be able to open and mess around with him. So anyway, he's amazing. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take him to the tattoo parlor to check him out in detail. All right, so here we are at the tattoo parlor. Give a quick shout out to my buddy Dusky for creating this amazing piece of artwork for me. I right, thank you so much, brother. Make sure to check him out at Dusky Till Dawn, especially if you're into amazing masterpieces like this, dioramas, figures, accessories he makes casting and molding plus he collects modern vintage he does toy hunts recently he was in uh was in florida i believe and he got to go do some hunts with some fellow youtubers awesome guy awesome channel so i'll put it here down in the comments below dusky till dawn check him out also again shout out to my buddy david blooper <clears throat> so look at this bad mamma jamma let's see if i can scoot him back just a tad more get the whole tail in he is huge and I really, really enjoy this guy. So as you can see for articulation, this is not like an articulation point, but it's soft rubber. So you can definitely, let's see, let me get his head in there. Okay. So it has, you can mess around with it. The uh, sculpted detail though on this soft plastic is amazing. You see where veins are. You can see his ridges, his scales. His spots, the color is dead on. I love the eyeball and all that area that they sculpted in, the teeth inside the mouth, which they don't really have to, and they still did. Incredible. His little arms are just pegged in, so they just spin around. Very typical of the early 90s. Legs are soft, they move, but there's no articulation to the legs or tail. It's basically just the two arms. So as we said again, you can squeeze him, and he has uh, the roar, and then you can pop him on the ground and he can he has the stomp uh electronic sounds i did have to put a nine volt in which we don't carry nine volts around this house so i definitely had to go out to walmart and find a nine volt <clears throat> but totally worth it so that's gonna be this figure that's really the i guess the the articulation is very simple we will check out the electronics though before we end this All right, my friends, so now we're going to check out his uh, sound effects. We have the 9-volt battery put in where it goes. I screwed it back on. Uh, I would suggest if you're going to hold on to uh, a vintage toy such as this, I would go ahead and take the battery back out before you put them up because of corrosion and whatnot. These are a little older, and they're just going to get older. So let's see. Let me make some room here. Oops. There goes everything. I dropped it all, buddies. Okay. So here we go. We're going to squeeze. I'm on, I have fingers on both sides. 
And we're just going to squeeze in and, and trigger that mechanism. There you go. It's not really loud, but it still does work, and I'm very happy about that. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so the roar works. Sounds amazing. Okay, the last part, let's go ahead and scan down here. Zoom into his legs. Is the stomp feature. All we got to do is uh, <clears throat> tap, pick him up, and then tap him down really good. Let's see. For him to get the sound going. All right, let's try it one more time. So, super cool. Okay, zoom back into him. All right, my friends, so that's going to be the retro review of the 1993 Kenner Red T-Rex. Sorry, correct. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, when he came out, this thing was massive. Like, this was the biggest toy that I had seen around, you know, basically. <clears throat> Since then, we've had a lot more stuff. There's bigger T-Rex, the Colossal T-Rex from the Jurassic World line, which I still do want to get. He's amazing. But at this time, this was the big boy. He was the king. So, let's see here. So that's going to be the review. If y'all have any requests as far as other uh, vintage figures that you may see that I have, or just in general, give me a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see uh, reviewed. If I don't have it, I'll try to find it. But uh, make it like, you know possible don't pick something crazy that no one's seen in 100 years <laughs> anyway this is going to be kevin with the <clears throat> retro rareable toy reviews i hope you enjoyed it you all take care peace